We're cutting back into programming to bring you the latest on an MPD officer who has been killed. His name is Anthony Sean Bolt Bolton. Memphis Police Director Tony Armstrong is addressing the media right now. Let's take a listen. In PM communications was alerted by a citizen through one of our officers' radios that an officer had been shot in the area of Perkins and Cottonwood. Once officers arrived on the scene, they located an MPD officer who had been shot during what appeared to be a traffic stop. The officer was transported to here to regional med in critical condition, but later pronounced deceased due to multiple gunshot wounds. The suspect is still at large and officers are in the area attempting to locate him at this time. We will not be releasing the officer's identity because Next of Kin has not been notified at this time. We ask that you be patient, be respectful of what these officers are going through and be respectful of once that you do know the officer's identity. Please respect the, fa the fact that his family is going through quite a bit right now. Uh, we ask that you continue to pray for this uh, his MPD family as well uh, as his immediate family. Um, we've been here before, sadly to say, we've been here before. This is my third time in the four years that I've, I've been the director, uh, and it doesn't get any easier. It, this is a very difficult time, uh, not only for me as director, but for all the officers that you see standing behind me, and a difficult time for our city as well. So I, I ask that you give us the respect that we need to, uh, and the space that we need to grieve. Um, and the time that we need to prepare to lay our brother to rest. I just take a few questions. Director, as a community, what can be done about a situation like this? You know, as a community, we, we say so often, um, there's a theme that do, do black lives matter? And at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves, do all lives matter? Regardless of race, creed, color, economic status, what profession that person holds, all lives matter. Uh, and this is just a reminder of how dangerous this job is. You know, we're talking about, uh, from what we know now, routine traffic stop inevitably results in the officer losing his life. Can you, can you tell us how long you've been on the force? I, I can't tell you anything about him right now. Director, can you tell us a little bit about how his family is doing right now? We have not been able to make contact with his family, and that's the reason we're not uh, uh, releasing his identity. The minute that we do that, I assure you uh, that we'll get that information out to you. Nothing that we can release at this time. Uh, again, we are making, we are using all the resources available to us uh, to find the person or people responsible for this. Um, as we attain additional information or as this investigation process, uh, progresses, we'll be sure to get that information out to you. And the director, like you're saying, one time is what too many, isn't it? One time is too many. But uh, you know, how do you put a value on somebody's life? and how you say one life is more important than another. You know? So again, more than, what we need more than anything right now is just your, uh, your prayers, again, for this MPD family as well as this officer's family. We'll get back to you when we have additional information. Mayor, you want to say? I'll simply join uh, Director Armstrong in first expressing our prayers and condolences uh, to the family, but also asking for prayers for all the other men and women in blue and for our city as a whole. Uh, once again, and we won't make any political statements here, but this again uh, evidences uh, the fact that there are so many guns on our streets in the wrong hands. That's the key thing. Uh, and the men and women in blue have certain rules of engagement that they have to follow. But at any given minute in a 24-hour day, they're dealing with folks who have no rules of engagement. So we ask prayers for the family. We ask prayers for this officer's fellow uh, officers uh, and, and, and just for our city as a whole. Mayor, you mentioned too many guns on the streets. Uh, yeah. Obviously, this is a huge problem in the city of Memphis. Is this something that we have to take to Nashville, to the legislature, to beat things up? Well, well again, I, it would, I don't want to make a lot of political statements. We'll, we'll address those things as the legislative session uh, approaches. Uh, but again, to underscore what Dr. Armstrong just said, uh, this speaks volumes about just the inherent danger of police work uh, in general. Again, pray for the family, pray for us. What, too many, isn't it? One time is too many, but uh, you know, 
how do you put a value on somebody's life and how you say one life is more important than another you know so again more than what we need more than anything right now is just your uh, your prayers again for this MPD family as well as this officer's family we'll get back to you when we have additional information mayor you want to say I'll simply join uh, Director Armstrong in first expressing our prayers and condolences uh, to the family, but also asking for prayers uh, for all the other men and women in blue and for our city as a whole. Uh, once again, and we won't make any political statements here, but this again uh, evidences uh, the fact that there are so many guns on our streets in the wrong hands. That's the key thing. Uh, and the men and women in blue have certain rules of engagement that they have to follow. But at any given minute in a 24-hour day, they're dealing with folks who have no rules of engagement. So we ask prayers for the family. We ask prayers for this officer's fellow offices uh, and, and and just for our city as a whole. Mayor, you mentioned too many guns on the streets. Uh, yeah. Obviously, this is a huge problem. In the it's a media family. Um, we've been here before. Sadly to say, we've been here before. This is my third time in the four years that I've, I've been the director. Uh, and it doesn't get any easier. It, this is a very difficult time, uh, not only for me as director, but for all the officers that you see standing behind me and a difficult time for our city as well. So I, I ask that you give us the respect that we need to, uh, and the space that we need to grieve um, and the time that we need to prepare to lay our brother to rest. I just take a few questions. Director, as a community, what can be done about a situation like this? You know, as a community, we, we say so often, um, there's a theme that, do black lives matter? And at the end of the day, we have to ask ourselves, do all lives matter? Regardless of race, creed, color, economic status, what profession that person holds, all lives matter. Uh, and this is just a reminder of how dangerous this job is. You know, we're talking about, uh, from what we know now, routine traffic stop inevitably results in an officer losing his life. Can you tell us how long you've been on the force? I, I can't tell you anything about him right now. Director, can you tell us a little bit about how his family is doing right now? We have not been able to make contact with his family, and that's the reason we're not uh, releasing his identity. The minute that we do that, I assure you uh, that we'll get that information out to you. Do you have a description of the suspect? Nothing that we can release at this time.